So this tag, it is to convert the user interface to .ty file. What does it mean, .ty? So let me show you. So let me just make a random user interface. Let's say, okay, I will make this one. So, oh, this is um, Korean, okay, Samsung. So let's see, I just make very simple this one and then I will save. Let's say I want to put it into the Python project and then GY. Okay, I will put this into this GY folder and uh, that's the name, <coughs> just any name, okay? Let me make the name as trial. If you make the name trial, so what you can see on the Python project, so you can have one more file, and the file name is trial.ui. Okay. So this name, is only for the user interface in the I2T designer. But you cannot run. In order to run this file, you need to change this file into .py. You need to change this one to Python file. How we can change this to Python file? So there are two ways. The first way is to make this uh, we call it pi UIC. It is to change from the user interface to Python file. How we can do this one? So again, let's go to the setting. Let's go to the setting and then go to the external tool. And then let's make one more new tool. And let's make the name as Pi UIC, or we call it, this is the Python UI Converter. <laughs> and after we have this, we want to check what is the program to run this uh, Python. Yeah. So in this case, I would like to uh, just put the python.exe in the anak Honda. So you already have the anak Honda folder. Let's see. And you already know the anak Honda folder. So I can go to this anak Honda folder. So in this Anaconda folder, you can look at the file. In this file, I have the python.exe, okay, then it is correct. So you can just click this uh, folder and then put in the program. And then you can call the python.exe. Okay, the working directory will be the same with the QT designer. So you can just copy from here and then put this one. The working directory will be the same. And now let's copy this one. Okay, I will copy this one. This is for example. You can see the italic font. So you just copy this one. <coughs> After you copy and then you put it into the arguments. So let's click OK. 
I will explain later what does it mean by that one. Okay. If you finish with that one now, yeah, this is the step to build the QT designer. Okay, let me just close this one. So you can design your user interface. Let's do one more time. I will make the user interface by clicking the external tool. And in the external tool, now you can see there are two tools. The first tool is QT Designer, and the other tool is High UI. So the QT Designer is to build the user interface, and this will be to pins to find the part. So let's see how we can do it. So we can make this user interface. Uh, let's see what we are going to do is, okay, you can select anything. Let's say I'm choosing the dialogue with buttons button. So dialogue with buttons button. It means, yeah, you can see we have the button and the button is in the bottom. So let's sing song or let's create this one. Now, after you make any design, let's save it as x.ui. Let's put the name file. The file name is x.ui. So I will just save this one into the folder GUI. Okay. Let's put in the folder GUI. And then let's put the name is X. So I will explain to you what will be the one. So let's just make the file name as X. And then you can see that the designer UI file is .ui. So everything you built in this user interface, then the file name will be .ui. Let's save this one. And then you will see now you have two files trial.ui and x.ui. After you have that one, now we need to change. We need to change the x.ui and we want to change this x.ui into .ty. You know, the title file will be .ty. So we can use the external tool. So let me show you. We can have this x.ui. You can click on the x.ui and then right click. Okay. In the x.ui, right click and then choose the external tool and then choose my UIC. Okay, in the next, go to the external tool, and then choose Py UIC. So if you click Do you have the same error? Let me do it one more time. So I will click on the x.ui and then I will do the external tools, hi UIC. And then you will see that there is a new file, x.py. Okay. And you have the x.py, 
you can double click on this one and you will see the Python file. So using this Python file, it means you do not need to write the code for the user interface one by one. It is automatically generate the Python code for you. But now it still do not working well. Okay. After you finish with this one, let's go to the next page. So you already have the code x.py. In order to execute this code, you need to have the main function. So you can see this blue color. Okay. So you can copy and paste and then put the below code in the bottom of x31. Okay. So I will copy and paste this one and then I put in the bottom of x.1. And after you put this one, and let's run the code. You can run the code, and you will see your user interface is working in the Python. Okay, so until this time, please try to do it in your computer. Yeah, I will explain a little bit about this one. So we will do more about this GUI. I hope you now understand how to make and how to create the x.py. So by now you can see that all the files, all the files are related to what you already built. So uh, I will just explain a little bit that in this PyQt5, we use the main window or dialog. So if you use the dialog, then you need to use the Q dialog. Or if you use main window, then you need to use the main window. So you can see from here, if it is dialog, okay, you can see here. If it is dialog, then you need to use the Q dialog. If it is main window, then you need to use Q main window. Now I'm using the dialog, so the code will be the dialog. And we just have the main function and it is the way to execute the user dialog. This, this is to execute the UI dialog. And then, yeah, using this one, we want to make sure that this is an object and then we want to show it into the Python. So if you run this one, then you will see this dialog. Okay. So next week we will do more with this GUI. Okay. So today you already finished with the installation. So next week we will do uh, more setting with this basic GUI. Make sure that you bring your laptop if you already installed it, or if you use the computer in this room, make sure that you just sit in the same place okay i will not fix any other errors so hopefully you can solve your own errors next week okay now let's start the learning check <laughs>